Coming up, can you use a cellular network to monitor security cameras? Next on Ask the Tech Guy. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remotely, visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. LastPass manages every entry point to your business so you can mitigate risk in office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Happy Monday, everybody. Leo Laporte here. I am your tech guy. We got a question in the email. Ask the tech guy at twit.tv from somebody whose name is withheld. He said, don't mention my name on the air. And maybe it's because uh, of the question. He says, I have an apartment in Venezuela and I would like to install wise security cameras to monitor when I'm out of the country using the wise phone application. If I installed Skyroam, would I be able to do this? When there are electricity outages, can I somehow restart the system? Also, would 5G improve home Wi-Fi to the point where mesh routers are no longer needed? Two questions there. I'll answer the first. Name withheld, <laughs> if that's your real name. Uh, so WISE is a great company. They make inexpensive security cameras. As little as $20, W-Y-Z-E. And we recommend them. I use them. For $40, you can get one that pan, tilts, and zooms. They listen for sound. They can activate. But... One of their real advantages is there's no monthly subscription. That's untrue for most other security cameras, especially if they're recording in the cloud. WiseCam does not record in the cloud. You could see what's going on at any time from your smartphone. WiseCam has a built-in uh, memory you can record, put in a micro SD card and record locally, but there's no kind of history recording being performed that saves you money but it makes it somewhat less ideal for this situation uh, you'll get an alert on your phone if there's movement or sound in your apartment and as long as the internet's working you'll be able to fire it up will the camera restart if the power goes out absolutely but his question was if he could use one of these this is a sky roam uh, actually they're newer slicker models but i've been using this one for several years this is the sky roam solace the idea uh, is that this is a 3G or 4G or LTE receiver. And Skyroam has contracted with countries all over the world so that you don't have to do anything. When you arrive in country, you fire up the Skyroam, and you're suddenly, you've got high-speed internet access through the cellular network. There are a couple of limitations on the Skyroam, though. They have bandwidth caps, pretty low bandwidth caps. And you, the way you subscribe, there's a day pass. You can buy a bunch of day passes. And now they have a monthly subscription as well. It's not a bad idea, but it's going to be more expensive if you want to use it in a specific place all the time. It would be much cheaper to go to a local I guess, Venezuelan uh, cell carrier and contract with them. Their cost is going to be a lot lower. Most cell carriers, again, I don't know anything about Venezuela, but most cell carriers will sell devices like this. Sometimes they call them MiFi's. That's what we used to call them. They're basically standalone devices that all they have to do is get power, be plugged in, and uh, they will connect to the 3G or 4G network in the area and then turn into Wi-Fi access points. This Skyroam, for instance, allows five different devices to use it. So that's why when Lisa and I travel, it's great. When we leave the hotel, we're walking around in Barcelona or uh, or Budapest, we, we can turn this on and both connect to it. And then instead of using our own expensive cell phone data, we can use the data that Solus the uh, Skyrim folks have nav negotiated with that country. And it, you, it's roughly $10 a day. But as I said, there are significant bandwidth caps. Bandwidth caps might not bother you, Nam Withheld, because uh, in this case, you don't use it all the time. You only use it when you're notified, you're alerted. Then you connect to the WISE camera. Uh, and so that's the only time you're using bandwidth. High-def video cameras like the WISE cam use a lot of bandwidth, though. They're often a megabit or more per second so uh, that's enough you know this will give you that kind of bandwidth in most cases but uh, you're going to go through bandwidth caps pretty quickly if you use it a lot Skyro might be a solution for you if you just use it you know once or twice a day which seems likely if you're just checking in on your on your uh, apartment 
Um, but I would guess you're going to get a better deal if you go to a local carrier. I've often recommended a website, Prepaid with Data. That's the Prepaid with Data wiki. You can go country by country, see which carriers offer this kind of device, a, a MiFi device, and what the cost is. It's a great way to shop, and it's, it's a crowdsourced wiki. So that means that generally the information is very good. It's usually from people in country giving you that kind of information. Uh, I'm not sure the Wise Cam is the best choice for this. Uh, it's certainly the least expensive choice. I use Nest cameras, and the Nest Aware subscription is something like $10 a month. But they're always uploading to the cloud. If there's an event, I can go back and look. I can go back as long as 10 days in uh, time. You can pay for more if you want. Um, that's a little more convenient because with the Wise, you kind of have to be around to check you know, what happened to get that alert. Uh, they don't really have history because they're not recording, except locally. And I, my guess is you're not in country a lot of the time. Uh, so going to check that SD card is not going to be uh, that easy. Um, I, As for power going out, oh, this is the other problem. Um, the Skyrim does have a battery in it. Uh, not all the devices, but this one, for instance, does. It'll operate about eight hours. So if the power just goes out for a little bit, your camera will still work. Uh, rather, your uh, your internet will still work. Your camera won't. <laughs> uh, and when the power comes on, this should power up and reconnect no problem. It's pretty good about doing that. I just think it would be better to get a MiFi device from a local carrier. That's going to get you a better connection probably, lower cost, and more importantly, lower uh, or fewer bandwidth caps or higher bandwidth caps. So, but your but your idea in principle is sensible. In fact, a lot of people are asking this these days. I get this question a lot because, you know, people have second homes, cabins, and they want to have security cameras, but they don't want to have pay for a monthly Wi-Fi bill. So something like this might be a, a good solution. Uh, it's a great question. As for your second question, would 5G improve home Wi-Fi to the point where mesh routers are no longer needed? Uh, well, absolutely, but in most cases, the way this works is certainly in some areas now where you can get Verizon 5G for kind of home internet use or more likely business internet use you have a receiver in the window to pick up the 5g and that becomes your wi-fi access point everybody's logged into that uh so i don't i don't know if it's going to eliminate mesh routers if you have you know if you have to go far away from that you might want a mesh router in between uh most people at least right now as it's as it's construed uh most people won't get these base units more than one of these base units because they're very expensive now down the road when 5g is available to your smartphone uh it may well be that you know every device will have a 5g connection high speed internet, internet everywhere it goes that's that's possible my guess is it's not likely that you'll still have a distribution point and you'll have something like a mesh network distributing it i really appreciate the question really interesting uh, I could see why, given the civil unrest in Venezuela, the uh, unstable government, you might want to keep an eye on your apartment there. I don't know why you wanted me to withhold your name, though. <laughs> uh, thank you for the question. I really appreciate it. Our show today brought to you, as always, by LastPass. Your remote workforce is a vital part of your business, but it can also be a security risk. Transition easily from in-office to in-home with LastPass. Now, LastPass allows IT to remain in complete control over which employees are accessing which resources, no matter where. Employees can securely share passwords across teams, even in different homes. And it reduces the risk of phishing schemes by never auto-filling passwords on suspicious websites. Get simple security across every access point with LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Lastpass.com slash twit well that's it for this week's ask the tech guy i'll be back next monday maybe it'll be with your question just email us ask the tech guy at twit.tv i'm leo laporte have a safe week we'll see you next time stumped on a nasty tech conundrum email ask the tech guy at twit.tv